Welcome to the Moon Manifesting Podcast. I'm Kyra Howarth, your host. Here on the show, we talk all about manifesting your dreams with the power of the moon so you can use the cosmic energy to transform your life. Welcome back to the Moon Manifesting Podcast. It's Kyra Howarth and today Oh, I'm back. I am back. I have so much to share with you here on the podcast. Um, But anyway, so the reason why I've been gone, uh, why I had a little break from the podcast was for the first time since I was like 18 years old. And I mean, you guess how old I am if you don't know, but it was a while back. um, I got a job. Um, So I got a part-time job a few months ago and um, I've actually quit. Today is actually uh, my last day. I'm like recording this on the high of like leaving my job Um, and it's the full moon in Pisces, lunar eclipse in Pisces coming up as well. And I'm just like, whoa, um, feeling really aligned. So yeah, today I want to share my story of uh, getting a job and then quitting that job only a few months later. Um, And yeah, because yeah, it's, it's a really interesting interesting story if you um, have been self-employed and working for yourself and um, you know maybe you've thought about getting a job or you've got a job um, yeah stick around because you're really going to want to hear what happened in my story Um, so yeah so maybe like you know maybe you're already um, working a job as well and you know maybe you've been wanting to quit, but you don't have an income source to back you up as well. This episode is also for you because this will really inspire you, um, how you can work on your own time, on your own terms and, um, yeah, not feel like you have to be a slave to a nine to five job sort of thing. Um, so yeah, so to help you make that leap, I'm going to share some things about what to work on your business, like strategically today. Um, but first I'm going to share my story about, um, yeah, what's, what's been going on over these past few months. So I've got a part-time job, um, yeah, like I said, which is why the podcast had a bit of a break and um, like it felt like a really aligned job. It was in like a local like crystal store. I actually was doing readings uh, at the store. They have like a little reader's room at the back where I was doing tarot and astrology readings for quite a while. And um, they had an opportunity there for a part-time job. And I was like, actually, you know what? Like this, I I can fit this into my life. Um, I have time for this right now. And I thought like, you know, it would be um, not only good, like, you know, um, having a part-time job and getting that, you know, extra cash flow in, um, but also like being in that space, I thought this is a good way to connect with other people, to network um, and to grow my own business as well. Like I um, even was allowed to, you know, promote myself within the store say, hey, I'm also, you know, our resident astrologer, uh, come get a reading sort of thing, Um, which like that happened. I did get an increase of bookings uh, during my time there because I was able to talk to people and uh, introduce myself a bit. Um, But yeah, so I got this part-time job and at first it was really good. It felt really aligned and uh, everything. Um, Like the pay rate, let's be honest, um, like it was okay, um, but it it wasn't great, especially as, like I said, this is my first job that I've had uh, basically since I was 18. um, And like in that time, I've always just been self-employed, working for myself, setting my own hourly rate. Um, and yeah, when I was getting paid at the, at the shop, it was like, yeah, a very small percentage of what I actually charge myself. Um, so, but you know, I, I waded up there with those opportunities. Um, but the thing was that like soon, like what was supposed to be a part-time job, I was working like full-time hour weeks and it was like exhausting. And I remember there was about like one fortnight where I worked about 10 days straight and the paycheck I got at the end of that fortnight, I was like, I can make the same amount of money in like one day in my own business. And that was a turning point for me. I was like, I have literally worked my butt off. I've had to say no to other opportunities. I wasn't able to, uh, you know, have availability for readings and things uh, that I'd usually be doing. Um, My client work uh, and like my group work that I do online in my own business, like I had to put that to the side so I could go run this uh, shop for (laughs) quite some time. And just having that realization about, like I am worth more than this, like having that realization that I 
like I don't have to work that hard and yet I can still make that same amount of money or more with more ease and on my own terms just really made me like go on this whole journey of exploring my self-worth, my my value and all of that sort of thing. And like, I, yeah, just having that, that realization was a turning point for me where I realized that, um, you know, maybe I shouldn't be spending so much time and energy working for someone else where like literally I was making them money. I was like, you know, running a shop, literally sales was my job. And I found out like, yes, I'm actually really good at sales. Um, like it proved to me that like, I'm good at this. So I was like, I should like redirect this energy into my own business. Like if I could put in that much effort, um, and dedication to my own business, like I could absolutely do this. So, um, so yeah, I had, I had this realization and like, I had like an energy clearing and, um, like all this different, like energetic work. Um, like I got like other practitioners involved as well to help me like clear out this energy so that I could feel like, yes, this is actually like the next step I want to take. Um, so I put in my resignation, I gave them two weeks um, notice and I was like, right, like this is my time. Um, but the thing is like, it, it doesn't happen overnight. So I guess if you were someone who, um, you know, you, you want to run your own business, but maybe you are just still working in a job and you're not having that time to put into your business, like you need to have like a bit of a trade off there. Like maybe you cut down from full-time hours to part-time hours. So you have more time to put into your business. Um, because like I said, it doesn't happen overnight. Um, and like before I quit my job, like I was working really hard, um, to grow my business as well. So that I knew that once I left my job, I would still have money coming in, but through my business and that it would match the money I was getting from my job or at least, you know, give me more money, um, which would be, yeah, even better. Right. <laughs> um, so yeah, what I want to share with you next is like three things, uh, that will really help you to make this shift. So yeah, whether you're, um, like working in your own, uh, working a job and you want to work more for yourself, or maybe like you really do need to like double down and get your business supporting you financially so that you don't have to get a job. Um, these are probably the three biggest things that helped me on my journey. So number one, take, take time off. So like I said before, like if you're working full time and you're just not having that time and energy to put into your own business, like, you know, maybe you go down to part-time hours or something, or just like say no to extra hours or, or like where your energy focuses on, like that's, what's going to grow. Right. Um, so yes, yeah, say no to those extra hours, reduce your hours so you have more time and energy to devote to your own business. Um, and with that time off, and I'm going to talk a bit more about this, but like use that time like away from your job or like that time that you're dedicating towards your business, use that really strategically, like plan ahead so that you know exactly what you're doing and like estimating like, you know, how much money you're going to be making and all that sort of thing, like planning absolutely can. I'll talk a bit more about that as well. Um, but uh, like, yeah, when you're just taking that time off from like even just your day-to-day -day work and you're able to sit back and reflect on like what you actually need to do in your business rather than like the actual like day-to-day -day work that you might be doing. So if, and if you're running your own business now and you're like, okay, well, how can I grow my business? You, sometimes you just need to take that time off as well. Like just block off a a week or something or whatever time frame suits you. Like maybe go on a retreat or something like that where you can actually sit with the energy of your business and like do all these things I'm talking about, the, the uh, strategic planning. Um, and yeah, the other, the other thing I'm going to talk about, which is uh, marketing, really doubling down on that. But anyway, we'll get to that. So yeah. So the second thing, the second tip that's really going to help you to grow your business so that you can quit your job or so you don't have to get a job is that strategic planning. Like I have a Capricorn stellium, right? Like, uh, of course I like a strategic planning, um, this, but this is absolutely key. Like I am already, uh, I already have 2025 planned out for my big launches that I'm doing. So like, I already know, I already know what I'm doing for the entirety of next year. Um, like having that advanced plan and then sticking to that plan is such a game changer. Um, and especially when you like allow yourself to stick to that plan of like rinsing and repeating different launches and like not just giving up on one idea because it didn't 
do well the first time. Um, like I feel like that is also really key where you become known for something. Um, like I'm coming up to, I think it's like my fifth launch of the Soul Line Business Mastermind. Well, I, I am launching it. Um, and like, like I said, it's my fifth round. Um, like my first round, like I literally had one lady join. Um, like if I had given up, like I wouldn't have kept running it. Um, and I wouldn't have like improved it and got more and more women join as well. And it's been such a journey. Um, and I'll tell you a bit more about that, uh, shortly as well, but like having this like rinse and repeat strategy where, um, like you are maybe just focusing on a few major things and it's like people come to expect it. Like they know, um, like, you know, you're going to be launching this particular thing every single year, um, or whatever time frame. Um, like it, yeah, it's, it's such a good thing. Um, like with my solo line business mastermind, I've been talking to women lately who they've been thinking about joining in previous rounds, but like maybe they didn't have the money or the time, like maybe they just had a baby and the timing wasn't right and things like that. Um, but like I told them, like, you know, I do this every six months. So, you know, if, if this time doesn't work out, you can join in a future round. And now, you know, they're cycling back and, you know, the timing is right. Uh, so yeah, that planning, that strategic planning and having those rinse and repeat strategies is so key for that longevity, that continued long-term success for your business. So the third thing that I want to share, the third tip about what you really need to double down on so that you can like either quit your job or like don't have to get a job um, is yeah, marketing, like really working on marketing and sales. Um, a lot of the, um, I do like, I'm a Gemini, so I do a lot of like personal professional development sort of stuff. I'm always doing some sort of course, but a lot of the, um, courses that I do tend to do, uh, like the business courses, the sales, the marketing, um, like Leonie Dawson has her brilliant, uh, biz or life and biz Academy. Obviously I'm just more focused on the business stuff that she does. Um, but it's amazing. Like she has so many trainings in there all about marketing, all about sales. And for me, like I was just like a no brainer to, to join Leonie's Academy. Um, and like, yeah, that's just one example of like, yeah, why, <laughs> why I love marketing and sales so much. Like I'm just obsessed with this. Um, so anyways, this, th this is something that I really do recommend that business owners do do some sort of training in, um, because it really can elevate your business. Like it can really help you understand like why, like, you know, you've done the things you've got a website, you've got a social media, like you, you're doing all the things you're posting all the time, but you're still not getting any bookings or any sales. Having this knowledge of marketing and sales, um, and like how to actually do that effectively can really just, make or break your business really like marketing is everything um like you might have the best thing in the world but if your marketing isn't nailing it then like no one's going to be seeing it no one's going to know it exists okay so you really need to focus on marketing um so marketing can be things like social media um so if you do have social media at the moment like reels are trending if you didn't already know so doing lots of reels is going to really help uh grow your social media to expand your reach and even if you feel weird about doing reels there's like so many different ways that you can do reels these days that um yeah that are more authentic and and everything um so do a combo of reels of like carousel posts like the multi posts um as well as single posts like do do a range of different things use your stories um like use all the different features in social media um and just continue to use it be consistent with social media this is a really effective marketing strategy when you know how to use it um podcasting is a way of marketing um get on podcasts like be a guest on a podcast um or like if you have your own podcast um you know this i use this to market my stuff right like <laughs> i'm about to market to you in a minute um but like you can use your own podcast like you can start a podcast if you want as well like use that as a form of marketing to sell your stuff um and the other thing that i want to touch on here with like the marketing and selling is using funnels 
Um, funnels just really help with the whole sales process. And if you've never heard of a funnel, like a really brief rundown of a funnel is like you might have some sort of free opt-in on your website. So if you've been to my website, chances are you've got my moon manifesting calendar. You've downloaded my monthly calendar. Um, thousands of people have over the years. I think I'm at like 5,000 people now. Yay, which is amazing. Um, so people sign into that free opt-in, right? And then you have like, what's the next step? Like a low priced item um, that kind of flows on from that free opt-in. So that's my book. That's Moon Manifesting. Um, and I think I even like make that available as a... Um, as an ebook so that it's like really accessible. I'm not actually sure what's, what's in my funnel, but, um, but that's the next step in my funnel. It's that low priced, uh, point. And then you can continue to grow your funnel, like adding in like the higher priced, um, items, the offerings and so forth. Um, but using funnels just really makes it a bit more easy, a bit more automated, especially if you have uh, like Flowdesk is uh, the email marketing provider that I use, um, but you can also use things like MailChimp. Um, there's heaps, heaps of them out there. Um, but having something like that where you can use that to set up your free opt-in. And then once people sign into that free opt-in, it has like a series of automated emails that get sent out. This can just really help uh, to boost like your uh, credibility, to boost your relationship with uh, whoever's reading your emails, those potential clients or customers. Um, like, and you use those emails as a chance to like introduce yourself, to like maybe share a personal story, um, and then like introduce them to your work. Like, you know, here are the ways that you can work with me. Maybe share a podcast that you've been on or a blog that you've written or something. Like, don't make it really salesy, um, but like having that sort of funnel that, um, like. Yeah, it's, it's a really, really helpful thing. Um, so those are like, yeah, probably the three big things that I would be focusing on mostly uh, with uh, with marketing and selling, social media, podcasting. <laughs> Hello, I'm bringing the podcast back. Um, and uh, funnels. Um, and with funnels, like email marketing kind of fits in there as well. Like making sure that you're sending out emails to your list. Um, I was talking to someone lately and she said that she doesn't even do email marketing. And I was like, oh no, you're missing out. Um, like, yeah, email marketing is so, so effective. Like I, I really highly rate email marketing, like higher than social media. Like you need to be sending out emails. Like if you don't have time to do social media, um, make the effort to send out an email to your list. Um, and if you don't have a list, let's get that happening for you as well with a free opt-in. So anyways, um, so yeah, by doing these things, by following these steps I've just talked about, like taking that time off to like plan strategically and to work on your marketing is really what's going to help you transform from like having to get a job or like, you know, being employed to really going all in with your own business so that you can make your desired income on your terms. And yeah, for me, it's just been such a journey of like self-worth over these past few months as I have made this uh, transformation myself from feeling like I had to get a job and then realizing that like I can make money on my own terms and um, do it in my own way. Um, so if you are ready to leave your job or to grow your business so that you don't have to get a job, I would love to invite you to the next round of the Soul Aligned Business Mastermind. We are starting really soon on the 3rd of October 2024. That is the new moon and solar eclipse in Libra, which is like, I feel it's the perfect energy to start a new relationship, like a transformational relationship that's going to catapult you into your, uh, your future destiny. Um, so that feels really aligned uh, with the Soul Aligned Business Mastermind with this particular round. Um, but over six months inside the Mastermind, we cover so many different things. Um, like a lot of the things I've just talked about today, we cover, we cover like taking that time off to rest and reflect so that you can plan strategically. We cover uh, like so much strategic planning. Like we plan out your funnels, we plan out your whole offerings, your email sequences that I talked about. We plan out your social media 
here. Um, and we do a lot of this like in alignment with astrology as well. I weave so much astrology into the mastermind. Um, so yeah, we, we do so many of these different things um, during our six months together. It's a group mastermind. You'll be in the group with a bunch of like-minded women entrepreneurs who like you are doing uh, what they feel is their purpose, like bringing their purpose into their business. Um, and you also get three one-on-one -on -one calls with me during our, our time together in the mastermind, which is so good for getting at that personalized guidance. And at the moment, I do have a special offer. If you pay up front, you get three additional bonus calls with me as well, which means that you basically get a monthly one-on-one -on -one call with me, uh, which is so good if you're needing that personalized guidance, that, uh, yeah, that deeper touch, uh, through Throughout your mastermind experience. Uh, so to join us in the Solar Line Business Mastermind, just head to kyrahoworth.com slash S-A-B-M, or you can find the link in the show notes below. So that's why I've been, um, yeah, a bit missing in action these past few months. Now you know the story, now you know everything. Um, I kind of feel like I overshared a bit in this episode, but, um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, I'm back manifesting my dream life and focusing on what truly matters to me, having so much more time freedom to, you know, spend time with my kids and do things in my own way without being like forced to be at a job all day, every day sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for this next chapter. So thanks so much for tuning in today. Happy full moon and happy eclipse if you're listening to this at the time of publishing. And I will chat to you all soon. Really excited to bring so much more like business astrology and um, yeah, inspiration into your podcast feed really soon. Stay magical, stay manifesting and stay tuned. I'll chat with you soon. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of the Moon Manifesting Podcast. If you are curious about working with the moon, you can read my book, Moon Manifesting, or join us inside the Moon Manifesting Coven. You'll find the links in the show notes or go to kyrahoworth.com.